start with Greg Logan, Newsday. Uh, Kyrie, can you just discuss the uh, difficulty you guys had on defense tonight containing the hot shooting of uh, Vucevic, uh, Levine, and Sadoransky? Well, yeah. Uh, can you guys hear me good or well? Yeah. Oh, this. Yeah, the camera's just like a weird angle. Uh, shoot, yeah, we, could, <laughs> we couldn't uh, get as many stops as we needed tonight. I mean, when you got, you know, uh, Tomas Sadoransky going eight for 10, um, Patrick Williams going four for five, Daniel Tice going four for six and, you know, making some timely baskets. Uh, you know, they, they you got to give credit. In the second quarter, I feel like they created separation and we were playing um, catch up and they just kept coming at us. And when you're giving up 30 point quarters um, consistently or consecutively, it makes it difficult um, to mount a comeback. So, we, we put our effort on the line, but we definitely could have gotten this game started a lot earlier. Uh, well, not earlier, uh, time-wise. Freak, it was already early enough, but just in the beginning of minutes of the game. So you got to give the Bulls credit. They came to play tonight, and they made shots. Alex Schiffer, The Athletic. Hey, Kyrie, you touched on it a little bit, but also in that second quarter when they pulled away, you guys got cold offensively. Just what, what do you think the issues were there when you guys just couldn't make shots? I mean, you kind of hit the nail on the head. Just couldn't make shots. Uh, you know, just indecisive, uh, I feel like, attempts that, that occurred in that second quarter where, you know, we just would should just drive it or uh, make an extra play or um, create an opportunity for a teammate. And, you know, they created separation. So, like I said, you just got to give credit when credit is due. They made shots this, <laughs> this early afternoon game. And, um, you know, now we learn from what we can and, and move forward. Brian Lewis, New York Post. Okay. Uh, Steve had mentioned that uh, he didn't think the pace was necessarily where it should be. In your mind, is part of that related to you're playing big, you're playing with lineups and rotations that you are not accustomed to? Did you think that played into it or was it something else? Uh, I'll leave that for you guys to discuss and have fun with that in terms of what that is. But I think um, in terms of how we feel as players going out there to prepare, um, it would have been nice to have more of a, um, a grace period in the morning to get on the court um, and prepare the way we prepare at home. You know, we had 90 minutes as a team, you know, or uh, I don't know, a night, uh, was it 115 minutes to prepare before the game, you know, before anybody could get on the court. And it's just like unheard of. You know, I'm usually at the arena three and a half hours or two and a half hours before the game to get, uh, you know, locked in as well as my teammates. And today it's just one of those weird games where, Everybody schedules off, and it's an early game as it is. It's Easter for some people, uh, and, and, you know, we're playing basketball on this day. So we, it took uh, just a little bit longer for us to get it going, to get revved up, and, and it cost us. So you give the Bulls credit. But um, I feel like we did some good things, and, and we could take some positives from here as well. Christian Winfield, New York Daily News. Hey, Kyrie. It, it seemed like at one second Tyler was, was running up the floor, and then the next second he's getting helped off. Uh, did you see what happened there, and, and were you, have you been able to talk to him about what happened? Yeah, I'll let the medical staff, um, you know, work with him, and I'm sure his representation will, will uh, you know, you know how the professional stuff goes. I don't want to speak on someone else's behalf, um, but... <laughs> You know, we just we, we don't want to get uh, hit with the injury bug, um, but it's inevitable for a lot of teams in the league, especially the amount of games that we're playing and, and some of the weirdest things happen, um, you know, at, at times. So we just got to be able to be there for them, support them, um, 